This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how to use the pen tool in Affinity Designer for the iPad. So as you can see here, I have my example design opened up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch to zoom in on this little planet right here. I'm going to use this as the subject for my demonstration for this tutorial. And over here in the left-hand side of the toolbar, about halfway down, you should notice the pen tool right over there. If you hold a tap over the question mark in the bottom right corner of the screen, it'll, put, it'll place labels over everything, and you should see the pen tool over here, over there to the left. So I'm going to activate the pen tool, and down here you should notice this little menu at the bottom of the pen tool uh, where we have different modes and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the default mode here is pen. You can cycle through these here. We have line, pen, smart, polygon. We'll be going over each of these. We're going to start with the default for now, which is pen. So what the pen tool does is it allows you to draw your own custom vector shapes by, by tapping to place points along your canvas rather than drawing or tapping and swiping. Let me show you what I mean here as an example. With this tool activated, I could just tap to create points going all around my subject here like this. And as I do that, it is creating a path, and if I close the path back at the starting point, we end up with a shape like that. Now this shape can then be used to fill with color the same way you would any other shape, and you could do all kinds of interesting stuff with this. You could open up the layers menu if you want, and you could use this image. You can use it as a clipping mask for the image, like that. So that's just one of many examples of things that you can do with shapes that you draw with the pen tool. So let me select that, close out of this, let me delete that. Let's go over some of um, let's go over the functionality of pen mode because this tool can be a little tricky to use. So there's a couple of different ways to use this tool. You can tap to create points like this, or what you could do is you can tap and then hold a tap. You can tap and drag like that, or tap and swipe until you get curved lines like this, as you can see here, and then you end up with curved lines there. Now let me undo that. Let me show you a working demonstration of how this works. This can be a little tricky to work with because. There's a little bit of a learning curve involved with this tool. I'm going to use this planet here as an example. I'm going to tap to create a point right here, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to tap to create another point, but I'm going to drag as well. And if you notice, I'm creating a curved line that follows the contour of the planet there like that. Okay, so now I want to continue making my shape going around the rest of this planet. I'm going to come over here and tap and drag like this so that I get uh, another line that follows that contour as well. The only problem is this line isn't following. So what I need to do is I need to go into edit mode down here in the settings. If you see where it says edit mode, tap on that. And now you should be able to take these handles associated with each curve and move them around. Now if you notice, as I move this handle around, it's changing the contour of the previous line that I made. If I don't want to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my index finger from my other hand and hold a tap on the canvas. And now I could take this line and adjust it accordingly like that. And I can make this match the uh, contour of the subject here a little more closely. And then once you're done, you can just get out of edit mode and continue drawing your line like this. You can come over here. Now again, I'm going to have to go back to edit mode. Let me take this handle over here and move that out like that. And I'll take this one, move this out, and then exit out of edit mode. And now I can continue by closing this path right here to finish this shape that I was creating. Back to edit mode, and I'm going to edit this line right here, make this a little more smooth. And I'll edit this one as well. So now we have more of a precise shape. It's not exactly precise. I could have done better if I put more time into it, but it, it still looks pretty good. I'm going to fill this in with color here like that. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. I could use this as a clipping mask. Uh, if I hold a tap over this layer right here and then place it directly over that layer, you can see I was able to pretty much extract that subject from the background using the pen tool by creating a, cu a custom shape with the clipping mask. So let me go ahead and undo all that. I'm going to take this and, del uh, and delete. Uh, let me delete that. Close out of the layers menu. And what I want to do now is go over some of the other modes in the uh, pen tool. If you notice here, we have pen mode. Let's go over smart mode next. Smart mode works similarly. The only difference is it uses its own internal um, algorithm, I guess you can call it, to determine where the edges of a subject should be. So if you start tapping around the edges of a subject, it'll make the line automatically smooth, and it'll try to detect where the edges are of the subject like that. Now it's not always perfect, but it is good for very quick and simple uh, rudimentary drawings like this, as you see me doing here. Now you just bring this back to the starting point. And close that like that, and there you go. Now you have a nice, simple little shape. Okay, so let me get rid of that. Uh, delete. 
and back to the pen tool. I'll show you the next mode. The next mode would be polygon mode. Now polygon mode makes it so that you can only draw straight lines. So if I tap and click or tap to create points like this, you'll notice I'm only creating straight lines. If I tap and drag, it doesn't create a curve like it does in the regular pen mode. It just takes the line and moves it wherever you move your uh, pencil like that and then back to the starting point. So this can be this would be ideal if you're tracing over images of subjects that have straight lines. Like for example, let's say you're tracing like a, a, a monitor or you're tracing an image of like a laptop or something that consists mostly of straight lines. This tool could be really helpful for that. So let me get rid of that. We'll move on to the next mode. The next one would be line. What line does is it simply allows you to draw straight lines like that, individual straight lines one by one, as you can see here. Now you'll probably want to change the color of these lines so you could actually see what you're drawing while you're drawing it like that. And now you can see that better. You're just drawing lines like that. You can do it two different ways. You can tap once to create a point and then tap again to create another point and then a line will be generated that follows the two points. Or you could just simply tap and drag like that to draw your points like that. Okay, so I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about using the pen tool in Affinity Designer for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.